Just a couple of miles from the Capitol building at beautiful Nationals Park in our nation's capital. We celebrate Jackie Robinson Day with a great matchup between the Miami Marlins and the Washington Nationals. Going to be an interesting contrast in styles in this one as one of baseball's hardest throwers goes head-to-head -head with a top finesse arm. Next. Number 42 gets the starting assignment for the Nats in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Boy, this guy was unbelievably good in his last one. Struck out a ton of guys in an amazing performance, and all of his pitches were working. Let's hope he brings that A game back with him in this one. Stepping up to the plate, Jason McManus. And we Miami. are set for baseball here this field. evening. Jason McManus. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. So, guys, these Nationals, as they interplay here tonight, have got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. What an opportunity to get a chance to put our eyeballs on one of the best teams in baseball right now. This team has played so well. Their manager has been on point. Every move he makes is working. Timely hitting. Great defense. Good bullpen. The starters have been on point. This is going to be special. Now the 0-2 pitch. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. And here's how the visiting Miami Marlins will line up in this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, I'll keep an eye on the leadoff guy and see what he can do in this one. He's had a tremendous season on the road. If you look at his on-the-road batting average, he's one of the best players in the league. He's hitting over 400 away from home, and that's the case here. So I expect to see him have another big game. Set to get Not his evening at the plate started. The Andres base. Cabrera Andres. batting just a notch below Cabrera. 300 so far on the season. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit on the ground to short. Guerra comes up with it. Throw on to first. Two gone. Now at the plate, Miguel Arias. First that chance for him here in the top the of the first, first with nobody on. Miguel Arias. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Gary Simmons. Dero, this Gary Simmons, he's the kind of umpire that pitchers really like to throw to. Yeah, I'm okay with it, though, Dan. You want to go east-west, I'll make the adjustment. It's the north-south that'll kill you. Looking to put him away, here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Marlins. And now the Nationals get their first opportunity. No score. Let's play ball. Three. Now in the box, Vernon Aparicio, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Vernon Aparicio. First delivery to him on the way. Ball Fastball one. off the plate away for ball one. Ball one well, no fans break. of the art of pitching are in for a treat. One of the game's big time flamethrowers faces a top craftsman here today. And you're going to see two different mindsets from both offenses, Dan. Facing the power guy, he's going to come at you. He's going to pitch to his strengths and not your weakness. And on the flip side, the finesse guy is going to try and keep everyone off balance. And I want to see what off-speed pitch he has working. You know, Dero, that's one of the beautiful things about the game of baseball. Good pitchers come in all different shapes and sizes, and they come with all different type of weapons. We're going to see one flamethrower and one guy that throws below the speed limit. The one-two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going.
the one two and another foul ball batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there that caught too much of the plate he knew it he missed it he might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play the one two Benson looking at the knees for the strikeout so here's how the Washington Nationals are positioned defensively and guys I want to focus on the guy on the mound because he brings gold to the party and I can't say enough how crisp and how effective a defense plays when the pitcher can field his position. There's nothing better than a pitcher who can help himself in the field. Into the box now, Sammy Manuel. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. First pitch coming, here it is. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Ball and one. that misses one and one. He obviously one. wanted that call in the corner, but if he continues to put the ball right there, he's going to get that call and he's going to keep pitching as well as he is. Here it comes on one and one. Zero. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing and he's down one and two. The one two and it's fouled away. Hey I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation but I think if we're being honest with ourselves that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center Williams ranging into the outfield he tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Batting fit. Standing in field. now, Enrique, Enrique Ramos. As he'll take Ramos. strike one on the inside corner. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. Here it comes, 0-2. Slider ripped on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Miami down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Standing in, Brad McGee, 7 8 9, the bottom of the order set to go here Brad in the third. McGee. Here it comes. Aye. In there at the knees as he offers a strike to the leadoff man, nothing in one. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw to first oh. in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. Standing in, Rafael Devers. And he's just hoping for something to go his way in this one. And as you can see, it's not been the case of late. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. There's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone looks like a fastball coming in and then 
it just drops off the table. You can get a lot of swinging strikes with that. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Stepping into the box, Eric McKay. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Eric McKay. Here's the first pitch to him. And the Marlins two, two, have two. their first hit of the game. Yeah, no runner, eat it, eat it. Boy, D, were you talking about frustrating as a pitcher? You have the pitcher up with two outs, and he extends the inning there with a base hit. Yeah, it's funny. I've hit eighth in my career, and the grind was to try and get the pitcher up so you could waste that out and flip the lineup over. This guy took it into his own hands and now did just that. Left By getting a knock, Jason. now we could have some issues here. Nick Manet. First pitch of the at bat on its Great. way. There's a fastball called for a strike on the inside corner. Hey, that's a well executed fastball right there at the bottom of the zone. If he stays there all day, it's going to make for a long day for the offense. Unless they're willing to bend their legs and get down and create some different launch angle, he's on point right now. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Barrett is after it. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. One left for Miami. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Into the box. That number 42. First no trip to the plate for him in number the ball game. 42. Here it comes. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But it bangs off the out of town scoreboard. And he is in at second base with a one out double. You could hear the solid contact all the way up here. And I thought we were going to have our first one of the game right there. Gets all the way to the fence, but it stays in the park. So he'll have to be OK with a double. Settling in now, Chris now Gill. Back. He drew Better a walk his first time up. Rick Gill. Here it comes, 0-2. This is Pick on the, the ground over right the here. first. On the bag, Arias on the bag. Scoops it up, and he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. In now, Joe Williams, now runner in scoring position with two gone. Joe Williams. A one-two pitch. And yeah, that's a fair ball lined to the right side. And the run will score as the Nats are off to a one-nothing lead. And he is in there. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Leading off, for my Leading off the inning, the Andres beat. Cabrera. Andres. And they'll need him to get something well, going well. here. Wind up and the 0 1. Aye. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. And with one away, today, of course, Jackie Robinson Day around Major League Baseball. We had a nice ceremony before the game in honor of number 42 as his legacy lives on to this day. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Miguel Arias. 0 for 1 for him here in this Miguel. one. Arias. And a strike called at the knees. Oh, Nothing in one. 
He's pitching well. We're working into the middle innings right now, but this is when he's really going to have to bear down when you start going through that lineup the second and third time. You've kind of emptied the bucket out already, so he's going to have to continue to buckle down and make good pitches. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gill waits on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. So here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Vernon Aparicio. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Thought this middle of the order might give him a fight and put up a little bit of resistance, but that hasn't been the case. He's carving right through them here. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Marlins. It remains one nothing. Leading off the inning, Sammy Manuel, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Manuel. <laughs> First pitch on its way. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. Well, now that we're midway through this one, it's safe to say that runs have been at a premium, and both starters doing it in different yeah. ways have turned in excellent performances. Dan, you could speak to this. Obviously, two different ways to skin a cat. One's a finesse guy working all four quadrants, keeping guys off balance. The other, a flamethrower coming right at you. Yeah, it's been a story of like two different styles of pitches, but both getting the same thing, both throwing strikes early, keeping the ball down in the zone. As you touched on it, there's more than one way to get around through a lineup, and we've seen one guy with power and one guy do it with more skill and finesse. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. He's just bringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. The batter. Into the box, the right Enrique Ramos. Enrique. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. He's got good swing and miss stuff in this game. That's back to back K's, and that was his ninth of the game. If you're striking out one or more an inning, you're throwing the ball pretty well. Now batting. Stepping in now, Brad, Brad. McGee. McGee. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Hey, this offense needs to check themselves right now. They have to find a way to get somebody. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Miami down in order. They're down 1 0. Digging in, number 42. He number scored a 42. run after stroking a double in his first at-bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game. 
maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. So he delivers with two away, and the bottom of the fifth marches on. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. Ready once again, Chris Gill. Now he got on top of one and was a ground-out victim Rick. last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerned. Well, the first baseman is under it to make the play, and that retires the side. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. More coming up from Nationals Park in just a moment. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. To start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Cut fastballs in for a strike two and one. The 2 1. He is swung on and missed for strike number two. You know, you don't face too many guys that have thrown a nasty splitter like he has today. He's had this lineup off balance all game with that pitch. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2 2 one more time. He's at the knees and called strike three. Stepping into the box, Eric McKay. He, he reached on a single in his first try. Eric yeah, guys, still the only McKay. hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. First offering on its way. In there at the knees, strike one. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Well, you're in trouble at the plate if you fall behind this guy, 0-2. So that was a good job to hold up right there. Count is 1-2 and two now. The 1-2. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. The one two. Gets him looking up around the letters. Digging in once again, Jason McManus. The first two men in the inning have both He's gone dead. down via the punch out, He's so we'll see if he can fare any better. No balls and a strike to count. The 0 1 pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Zager moves over, and that's the third out. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They trail this one one to nothing. At the plate, Andres Cabrera. He is 0 for 2 thus far in this one. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit on the ground to short. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. At the plate, 
Miguel Arias. Now he flew out in his last at bat. Miguel Here comes the first pitch. Area. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. The difference between 0-1 and 1-0 is so monumental, and this guy has been on top of his game all day, attacking the zone and getting ahead of these hitters. Hit out towards second. Williams right there on to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh as now there are two away. Up next for Miami, Vernon now Aparicio, that. and he's the likely shortstop. just trying to put one in Vernon. play here. 0 for 2 with a Aparicio. pair of strikeouts thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Well, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Barrett is there and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. Ladies Miami down in order. Joy. They Look still trail one nothing. Digging in number 42. He doubled earlier number and carries 42. a two for two line into this appearance. From the stretch, fouled away. Zero. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here. 0 and 2. I think he just subscribed to the swing hard in case you hit it philosophy of hitting. As a pitcher, why not? Better than standing up there like you've never held a bat before. But this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. Leading off the inning, Sammy Manuel, and they'll need him to get something going here. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Now the 1 0 is a fastball that misses as we head into the later innings in this game. I think it's safe to say that both starters have given their teams a great chance to win here today. Wow D. Rowe, we've seen one power pitcher one finesse guy but both of them on point up, two up. different ways to get through a lineup and both of them have worked. Yeah Dan tip it a cap to both starters right two different ways the power guy was on top of his game. Not really mincing much, just coming right down the throat at these offensive players. The finesse guy did exactly what he's always done. Move the ball up and down, in and out, and get it to the bullpen. So coming to the plate, Enrique Ramos. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot has to put the ball in play first pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1 this is the bugaboo on the offensive side you want to stay in there and work a guy's count and hopefully get into the bullpen but when you find yourself 0 1 every time hitting becomes even more difficult the 1 1 swing and a ball hit softly on the ground but a foul ball one and two the count now. And he fouls this one off. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance though as it landed in the upper deck. Foul.
fouled off. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And it's fouled away. Hey, this is a heck of a battle right here. Long A-B. You know what? They find themselves still facing the starter. If they would have had some A-Bs like this earlier in the game, I, I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. The one-two. Fouled away. Another one-two delivery. And he fouls this one off. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it, Barrett. And that's the second out of the inning. Ready now for the Marlins, Brad next McGee. The, Marlins, the center fielder, Brad McGee. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. Uh, couldn't help himself that time as he chases one below the knees. It's strike one. Guys, I've been really impressed with him tonight. I mean, he's carving these guys up with all of his pitches. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. 1 2 3 go the Marlins. It remains 1 0. Stepping in, Rafael Devers. And his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. Rafael Devers. First pitch of the at bat. That's popped up. Vila has a play. And that's the first down of the inning. Vera will pinch hit here and he's the potential tying run. Number 42. Lee Vera. Well, a fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. He'll enter play with that batting average still shy of the 220 mark. One home run and five driven in. Swung on and missed. One and one. One and one. Ball two. two and one. Two balls. One, one out. Nobody on. Line toward right center. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Yeah, man, he's locked in and pretty dominant since the first. So as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. Now batting. Left Into here. the box now, Jason McManus. McManus. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. A good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, two, one and two, it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse.
So digging in now, Andres Cabrera. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Strike one to start the at bat. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. That's back to back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot. 0 oh, 2. Let's see if he can battle back in this AB. One, one, one. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. Throw on the first is going to be in time. And the Nationals have taken games one and two here at home as this one is over. Yeah, they could only manage two hits against him the entire game. So they were never really in a position to even challenge him. Rock solid win and a memorable performance. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. Washington led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Number 42 earns win number four on the season as he allows only two hits over nine full innings. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more,